In this video, we will graph the given log function on the TA84, as well as give the domain range and the equation of the vertical asymptote. Because y equals negative log base three of x, and the graphing calculator only contains common log or log base 10, as well as a natural log or log base e, we will have to use the change of base formula shown here below to graph this function on the TA84. We can either use common log or natural log. In this example, let's use common log. Y equals negative log base three of x is equal to negative common log of x divided by the common log of three. And now before we graph this, we should be able to recognize because we just have log base three of x here, where the input is just x, the domain is going to be x greater than zero, or the open interval from zero to infinity, and the vertical asymptote is going to be the line x equals zero, and this negative sign here is not going to change the range. The range is still all real numbers, or the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. Let's go ahead and record this, but we'll also check it graphically. Going to the calculator, we press y equals, and then enter negative, not minus, but negative, common log x, close parenthesis, divided by common log three, close parenthesis, and enter. And now to make sure we have the standard window, let's press zoom six. Zoom six gives us Z standard, or the standard window. So now we have a decent graph of the function. We could adjust the window, but from here we should be able to tell that the vertical asymptote is x equals zero. The domain is the open interval from zero to infinity, and because the graph does go down as well as up indefinitely without any holes or breaks, the range is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. But now to make our graph, we want to find some convenient points on the graph. And there's two ways of doing this. One way is to press zoom and then four for z decimal, which actually gives us a better window. But now if we press trace and we scroll along the function, notice how the x value is increased by one tenth. So notice how if we keep scrolling, we can see the point one comma zero is one point on the graph of the function. Let's scroll out to x equals three. Notice how the point three comma negative one is also a point on the function. Our coordinate plane only goes out to eight, so let's determine the y value when x is six. Notice how in x is six, we would have to approximate the function value which is approximately negative 1.63. Another way to find points on the graph would be to use the table. Let's also show this method. Let's first press second window for the table set. Right now the table is going to start at 5.5. Let's start the table at zero. Enter. The change in the table is by 0.5, which is fine. We want both independent and dependent variables to be on automatic, which they are. So now if we press second graph, we can scroll down the table and find convenient points. So again, here we have one comma zero, three comma negative one, and let's also use six comma approximately negative 1.63. Let's begin by sketching the vertical asymptote of x equals zero, which is the y-axis. One comma zero is the horizontal intercept or x-intercept. And we have three comma negative one, and then six comma negative 1.63, which is approximately here. We know as x approaches zero, the graph is going to approach the vertical asymptote and the function values approach infinity. And therefore on the left, the graph looks something like this. And then to the right, the function continues to decrease and looks something like this. I hope you found this helpful.